I know most times I'm far away, but still I'm missing you. Still I'm missing you. I've said some things that I regret. in the spotlight in the city. This is another episode of Spotlight in the City. I'm your host, Jazzy Ones, a.k.a. Jack of All Trades, Master of the Grind, a.k.a. The Prince from your house. It was hot in the entertainment world, and I'm here with Travis Cherry, the two-time Grammy-nominated music producer with his lovely group. Legit. Legit. <laughs> What's going on? Man, we're just chilling. You know, you got us out the studio. We came out to hang out. We came out to support. Loving these red couches. Need to borrow this on like Thursday, Friday, Saturdays if I could. <laughs> just at the studio. You know what I'm saying? I give them back. We, we, hey, and we, we might. Rent a center. You we, know, I signed a little form. We might have to do find a, them no more. We might have to do a spotlight in the city uh, moving company. Okay. Just move the front of the straight to the studio. Okay. We ain't mad at that. That's so let's, let, let, man, let's talk. We're going to get into you and then yes, we're going to get into your group. Yes, sir. Before we start, you're kind of a big deal. Nah. How did you get started? You know what? To be honest, I hustled my way in. Uh -huh. I messed around and like I was I used to be in an R&B group and so me and my group when we moved down here in 96 you know when we broke up I stayed uh -huh. and I went and bought some equipment and I was like I'm gonna start making beats I'm gonna start making beats so I just sat in my house every day for a year just trying to work on beats you know what I'm saying so I was in Kroger's one night up in uh, Sandy Springs and so this kid was in front of me and he was singing uh -huh. so the dude was like kind of nice with it so I was like yo is you sing he was like yeah yeah I sing I was like so like I do beats I only had about 10 beats. <laughs> you bet. Your top 10. And I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. My mom always taught me. She was like, it don't matter. You can apply for IBM no matter what. They got to mm -hmm. teach you their way of doing it. Even if you don't know it, they still got to teach you. Exactly. So he was like, yo, I got a record deal. Why don't you come to the studio? Let me hear some of your beats. You know, the label might like some of your stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, when I, you know, got up with him a few days later and went to the, um, you know, to the studio with him, the label heard my stuff. And then they were like, so do you engineer? I was like, uh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a month later, he was gone, uh -huh. and they had me. They were like, okay, we got somebody that's in-house, that sings, produce, <laughs> and engineers, and it, Whatever it just went from there. I, I spent two years with them, man, just between Atlanta and D.C. What did you, what did you learn from that experience right there? Um, it really just taught me a little more of the game, because I kind of got thrown into it mm -hmm. early, because they already had to deal with Tommy Boy, so it was okay. like... You know, they had a movie they were shopping at the time, uh -huh. and I was having to, like, help, you know, with everything with the studio, from taking mm -hmm. care of the studio to helping with meetings to traveling back and forth to D.C. with them. Mm -hmm. So it was just a hustle. It was just, like, two years straight of really being immersed in it and then them forcing me to do sessions where I really actually had to learn how to engineer okay. and dealing with bigger artists when they were coming into our studio. Now, you, like, what was that moment, that breaking point <clears throat> moment that just, like, blew everything out the water for you and you just arrived? Getting fired from Nordstrom and Perimeter Mall. Wow. <laughs> no lie. 2006, uh -huh. I had a job at Nordstrom. Uh -huh. And, you know, I came in late one day, and, and so they fired me. And that night, I went home, and I was like, man, I'm just, I just got to do this. Yeah. And the beat I made that night ended up going on Jennifer Lopez's album. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, literally, that was like the last week of June. J-Lo had that record that, that Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. So how did that change you from there? What, 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 led, what, that led, what did that lead to? Um, to be honest, I never really got a chance to enjoy it mm -hmm. because I had so many other things that were going on at the time. Like, literally, like, I think we had just finished working with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm -hmm. um, after we did that record, 
I mean, we were all, we already had Jay Holiday there, so mm-hmm. we were already working with Jay Holiday day for day. And then, I mean, I was in with, with Charlie Wilson. Mm-hmm. I was in with Keith Sweat at the time. So it was like so much, so many other records that were yeah. going on. It was like it really wasn't like okay, I just got this one record okay. that's going to go somewhere. It was like I have all these records that are starting to go all over the place mm-hmm. through the producers that I used to be signed to. So your work, Lou, just it was just like going, and then it was like it it was a blessing because it was like um, Jay Holiday's album actually ended up coming out, uh-huh. and a week later J Lo's album dropped, and then a month later we found out the album was certified gold, and then like a week after that we found out we was nominated for a Grammy. Now, the Grammy. Yes, sir. Everybody don't get nominated for a Grammy. <laughs> so what was that feeling when you first found out you was nominated for a Grammy? Man, it was like, you know, you start thinking of all the stuff that you've been through. Uh-huh. And you start thinking to yourself, all right, this is forever. Like, no matter what, anybody that sees me, that title is on my name. Exactly. And it was like finding out, okay, you nominated for a Grammy. And then finding out I was nominated in another category. So having both my nominations right there. I was like, man, I'm the, I'm the same dude that's done slept on the steps at the Fox Theater. Yeah. I done slept two nights in Piedmont Park. It wasn't no slept. overnight success. No, I was like, man, so for that to be recognized, and I mean, everybody know I represent my city. Like, that's yeah. all I care about is Raleigh. So I'm like, yeah. you know, getting a phone call from the news people and them people wanting me to come home to be interviewed. And they were trying to put a camera crew at my mom's house to watch uh-huh. the Grammys. Wow. It was just like nuts. I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> now, now, from, from, from your Grammy nomination, I, I see that you... Were on uh, did some film appearances, some, <laughs> some reality shows. Yeah. Keisha Cole. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, how was that working with that family? You know what? It was it was cool. Like Keisha's beautiful in person, and she was in the studio singing and everything. Uh-huh. And it was like it was fun. Like I didn't get to see I didn't see that side of her that I saw in all the yeah. other episodes. Like I kind of saw how she dealt with her family. Like yeah. I saw her cutting them a couple of looks, and I was like, oh, okay. But with me, she was real nice. She's like, hey, you know. Love your rhythm, love your music, and oh gosh, and I wrote to this song, and I wrote to this. And it was like, okay, cool. What was it? Was it ever a time when Frankie just bust in the studio and said, "Hey, let me on the song," or anything no. like that? Was was no, any crazy were, moments they like were that? Sitting on the couch, <laughs> they was on the couch. It was none of that. Is, is she that type of person that we like? You know, we see her on a reality show. We see her one of those person people that turn up always live in your face. Is, is she that person um, in real life? I didn't get that from her. Uh-huh. I, honestly, I didn't get that from her. Like, there's some other artists I've been around that you would you would be like, wow. Yeah. You know, like they are really, you know, interesting. But her, no. Not now, at how all. did that come about? Was it, you know, was you just um, working in the studio? What happened was um, the producers I was signed to, they had a publishing deal through BMG. Uh-huh. So BMG ended up getting us the J Lo situation, yeah. and then she was also signed to BMG. Yeah. So it was just a natural progression of that. It was oh. like, well, why don't y'all get in with Keisha and do a record with Keisha? And then it turned into, why don't y'all film an episode of the show? Okay, you accomplished a lot. What's, what's the next step? You got any uh, independent I got, labels? I mean, right now it's just about my production company. I uh-huh. got uh, my guy group, Vincent Clark. I got Legit, of course. Uh-huh. And I got a little 10-year-old named Hannah. Um, her dad is, uh, he used to be Oprah's makeup artist. Oh, wow. So Oprah is stamping the project. She said, you know, this anything is her o- niece. Anything Oprah stamping <laughs> is, is gold. So I got Platinum that. Platinum in, in the music world. Oh, yeah. I got that. Um, I got a single about to drop in a couple of months on Raheem Devon. I got his first single on okay. his album. And then we got some other records that are, you know, in the fire tell that me, we're me, closing tell out. Me, tell me, Can't tell me, tell me. Can't tell just yet. <laughs> Can't tell just yet. But Justin it's really Timberlake. major. Really made Justin Timberland. No. <laughs> Timberland, if you, you if you call, holla at you, holla at you, Timberland. <laughs> so, so so I you got your you got your group, beautiful group. Mm-hmm. What's the next step for them? What, what, what are you looking to uh, to I mean, do with them? I threw them in the water uh-huh. as deep as I could off top. Okay, you know, I, it wasn't really like a let's do demos. It was like okay, well let's work on your album. Wow. So it was like going straight within like a day or so of meeting each other and just going right in and getting a relationship like that. Because when what I saw of them, you know, it, it, they weren't, um, how can I say it? They weren't fake. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like any artist can just say, make a hot radio song. Yeah. But the artists I choose to deal with are artists that can get out on the road and tour. Mm-hmm. So these girls could go out on the road for eight months and tour and you'll get a good show. Okay. And that's what I, that's what I, that's all I saw in them. Wow. So w- were they a group already or did yes. you have to... F- can I have your names, ladies? I'm Tati. And I'm London. And I'm Jazz. And together y'all are? Legit. Legit. <laughs> but still I'm missing Still I'm missing you. I've seen some things that I 